Okay. It says it is telling, I'm telling people that you are going live. So, okay, so, I'm gonna say it's working. So this is an area in our home, I've shared this many times. So for a different holiday or a different season, this is one of the first areas that I like to um, decorate just cause it's small, it's easy, it kind of gets you going. And so I'm going to put it together today for fall um, and share kind of what I'm doing. And a lot of the finds that, or the things that I will be putting in this hutch are thrifted finds. So I'll kind of share, you know, how I use these finds and um, how they're usually not what they were meant to be used for, but I see them in a different way. So when you're out shopping in a thrift store at yard sales and um, I may be having a kid come in here soon, so uh, he will be so embarrassed, but I will, hopefully I can get this done before he gets in. Um, so anyway, it's just kind of fun to see how other people use different things that you may see at a thrift store or a restore at um, a yard sale uh, and then just how to add it to decorate your home. So. I picked this up a while ago at a thrift store and I think it is to hold books. So it would go this way and you would put books between it. But I saw it as a riser and this is how I have used it since I got it. Hang on one second. So I have this stuff all around me. So I'm, you're going to see me like walking away, <laughs> walking away a few times just because I've got stuff in the dining room. I've got stuff in front of me. Um, this is a hutch that my mom refinished when we were little. I think my dad, my dad used to kind of do like fire restoration and work with insurance companies. And if I remember right, I could be totally wrong. This one could have been an estate sale, but, um, he brought it home. And so she like refinished the whole thing, took the paint off. It was painted. Um, so this is actually a piece I will never get rid of. Uh, usually the pieces in our home, you know, I'm always changing things up, but this thing will always be with me. So um, it just kind of sits in our living room. So, okay. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to add, I always pick up these white pitchers. Uh, I use them Christmas, spring, summer, fall. And then I recently found these old paint brushes. They're just perfect colors for fall. And then I also found these candlesticks at a thrift store. They're green. I just threw them all in here. No rhyme or reason. I just threw them all in there. So I'm gonna add that and set that right up there. Okay, and then where is, so I found these tiles and they have numbers on them. It's fun to decorate with numbers and letters. And um, so I grabbed every different number that they had. I found these at Restore and this is just a dollar, like a dollar pumpkin that I got at, where did I give that? Target years ago when it was fun to <laughs> find cute stuff in the Target area, dollar area. Okay, I am going to add, so even in the fall, I like to add green, anything green, any time of year. Um, I do like to add, let me just change this a little bit. This up above, it's already done, so I'm leaving that the way it is. Um, so I'm just gonna add some of this, you can get, you can find greenery like that at your thrift stores. Always look for it because sometimes it is expensive in stores. It's sometimes they want to, they want a ton for it. So, um, anything brass. So I picked these up at a thrift store, but they are, they are target, but anything brass like this, I love to, um, put it out for fall. So I'm going to set that right there. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Uh, so I can answer them or I feel like I'm okay. And then these, I've been asked where I found these. These again were just a target dollar spot. I'm sure they were, they were $3 or $5 years ago. Um, it wasn't even last year. So I would say at least two years ago. So I'm just going to set that there. And then I'm going to, you guys know my love for these. And I just shared the big, huge ones I made. So I'm just gonna kind of throw those in here. I'll put it behind the pumpkin so it stays. You don't have to see the whole thing. It's just to add a little more um, just texture and dimension. 
Okay. And then here are the rest of those tiles. And I'm showing them to you upside down. But, <laughs> so I'm just gonna set that in front of this little area like that. He is upside down. And I'm gonna throw another white little pumpkin over here to finish out that area. And I have a little obsession with these brushes. I, I just love old paintbrush. I think because I do a lot of painting. Um, so these old paint, I think this one my mom had and she was gonna get rid of it. And I said, no, you're not, I'm gonna take that home. <laughs> so I brought that home, I'm just gonna set that there. And then I'm going to add, did anybody grab these when I shared them when they were such a good deal? Um, these were from, oh my gosh, was it West Elm? <laughs> I'd have to go back and look. I'm pretty sure it was West Elm. And they're like 80 bucks for the pair or something, like something crazy. And when I found them, it was this past summer, they said they were 75% off. And I thought, well, this, is, this isn't this is right. Because um, fall's coming up. Why would they be 75% off? I got the set for $25. So they were like 12 something a piece. So it's a, a tall one like that and a short one like this. They're They're not on sale anymore. Uh, right now, but, um, and they had different colors. They're, they're, they're amazing. Um, so that's what I'm, that was not thrifted. Uh, but then I had, I did find a bunch of these at a, a bunch of these, meaning a bunch, like just together <laughs> at a, at a thrift store. So definitely check for these, but they also have them at, uh, like home goods. So I just put a little like twisty tie around them. So they'd stand there. Um, and I actually cut them down cause those were super, super tall. And then mess up this over here. Like I said, <laughs> I love old brushes. I'm just going to set him over there and then I will always pick up old clocks just because, just because they're cool, even if they don't work. And that top shelf is done. Um, easy peasy, thrifted finds. Um, the next thing I'm going to add, do you guys remember when I found these? Um, this was recent. Well, within the last like three weeks or a month, uh, these, I just, I love anything like these. So this is, people were telling me this is what they used to cut cabbage with and stuff like that. Uh, but they're flat. So, and the, the wood, the patina is perfect. So they're perfect to go on the back of shelves. Perfect color for fall just to warm it up. Um, and they don't take up a lot of space on a shelf. So I love, I love things like that. So then I'm going to add my other little glass pumpkin right there. And then I'm going to add, oh, my screen went dark. I made these live. Um, if you guys missed them, they were kind of a greenish color and I, I did a little paint technique on them and just made them a little more have a little more texture, a little more, just to fit a little bit better. So you can check out the video for those. And then I've got another bunch of wheat stems. And um, here they are. I found, okay, it didn't go. Here, this is an old Bible. And when I found it, I can't remember, thrift, it was a thrift store. And inside, oh, I don't know if you guys have been here long enough. So inside this Bible was this picture and this picture. These are like priceless little treasures. But um, so I'm just going to set that right up here. And then magnifying glasses. I love them. I just sold one of these in my shop page, um, which new items will be listed tomorrow. And that's just at my creative day shop here on Instagram. So I'm just setting that brass magnifying glass there. And then um, I'm gonna add another, these are not put together, just kind of another bunch of stems, wheat stems just kind of here in front, just laying down here. And kind of move them around so they're at different lengths, not all the same, cut them down. Um, so I'm just gonna leave those like that. Okay, and then now, 
we're going to head over to the other side. Where is, okay. So I'm going to throw up some more. Oh, can you guys see me? It's dark. <laughs> some, this is another, these are Target dollar spot pumpkins. Um, like I said, a couple years ago. And then these, I don't know if you can get them this year, but I know you could get them last year. They're at Hobby Lobby. They're like concrete pumpkins. Um, I think they're all this kind of, they were all this shape when I bought them, but I love their, their shape. They're kind of flat. They're good for just on top of a, on top of a shelf. And then I bought this. This was in one of my thrifted hauls I shared with you guys. I love this thing. It's like the perfect color. Um, I just love this thing. So I'm just going to set that up in here. Whoops. And then I have, I like this frog, how it kind of goes up like this. I want to cut some like, I don't know, dried flowers or something I will put in there. But I'll just kind of set that right there. And then we can, do you guys see that okay? Okay. Now, so that's the end of that shelf. Here's another one of those thrifted boards that I got those like cutting boards. I'm just gonna set this one down here. I thought that was gonna fall. And then I have, I love this old scale because it acts as a riser. And anytime I find a wood vase, these are all thrifted. Um, they have great ones like at Target and stuff. I just don't want to spend, you know, $25 for a wood vase. So I just set those all on there and I put a little wheat stem in them. And I recently just found another little wood, um, like stem vase. I'm just going to set it there just so I don't lose it because it's little. And then, oh, I only have two. Oh, no, I don't. I have, okay, I have a few more things. This piece, I found this actually in a small shop when we were in Michigan. I love this thing. It's perfect for fall. It's wood. It's just like a, it's just, I love this thing. So I'm just going to set this right here. And then I had another one of these pumpkins that I made with that paint technique. You can see all the texture. I'm just going to set that right there. And then last, I found this bunch of Actually, I have one more. I found a bunch of cotton stems uh, at the thrift store. Where did that go? Huh. I have another little bunch of... Anyway, I found these at a thrift store. Uh, just like this. So check your thrift stores for these stems. Because this would be... This is a pretty hefty bunch of these. And so... I'm just going to wrap these around this piece so that it all fits in here. Move them over a little bit. Move that down. There we go. And I have another little bunch of these stems. And I can't remember where I put them, but they went in here somewhere, so I'll just set them there for now. But there it is. Easy peasy. And it doesn't even have to be pumpkins and, um, what do I want to say, leaves for fall. Just like changing up, like the wood vases, the colors and the textures and just making it cozy is, like none of this up here is fall. But like the colors are just kind of warmer and, um, so yeah, so that's it. It is Whoa. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm going to see. Do you have any questions? Is there something that um, you wouldn't have thought about? If you like these videos, please share these videos. Please comment. Um, like them. That just helps me so I know that these are helpful for you guys. And you don't have to spend a lot of money to decorate your house. Like, the things that are in here that were, well, the glass pumpkins, but I got those at 75% off. Even up here, I'm looking. Um, everything up there was thrifted. And then the pumpkins from like, 
Hobby Lobby, these were like three four ninety nine. And what is it usually? You have forty percent off. So what did whatever? You know, I'm great at math. Under three dollars pumpkins, and then the Target dollar spot pumpkins. And then if you can find them after the seasons, it's even better. But everything else was all found at a thrift store um, or a yard sale. So you can get that look you want and it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. I promise you. <laughs> oh, Gina, thank you. This is one of my favorite activities you do. I've seen you do another with the same piece, so fun. This is where I start when I'm redecorating. This is where I start just because it's, it's doable. Like I, I don't have to get out a bunch of new things. It's just a little area and it doesn't have to take hours and hours and hours. So I always start here. Yes, I love thrifted decor. I can't wait to decorate for fall. I just wish the weather would cooperate, right? Thank you, Susie. Oh my gosh, so, okay, is he? I can't tell. We'll just, <laughs> yes, come shopping in Iowa. Matt and I would love to have an, like an uh, Airbnb here. Let's put it out into the universe. Um, and then like have you guys come and then me take you thrifting. Wouldn't that be so much fun if we could do it around here and I can show you like my favorite spots and um, if there's like sales going on, you could come at that time of the year. I just think that would be so much, so much fun. Thank you so much, Susie. I think it's just fun to see how people look at different things. That's why I like taking you guys in the thrift stores with me. So as I see things and maybe if I'm not picking it up, but I've done, picked them up before, I can just kind of share how to get the same look for a lot less or grab this because, you know, because you can do this with it or it can look like this or, um, oh my gosh. So you got, see, would you come to the Airbnb? Oh. I think it would be so much fun. I would, I would love to do that. We would just need a U-Haul though to like <laughs> drive around and um, like I, I said that one time, I said a party bus, but that stops at thrift stores and yard sales. Wouldn't that be so much fun? But we'd need an extra trailer on the back of the party bus. Um, I went to Iowa to visit my sister and we thrifted and it was awesome shopping. What part of Iowa did you come to? It gives me a lot of ideas being on a budget. Yes, yes, that's how I, that, I had to get creative. When we got our first house, I had to get creative. I wanted to just go like in the catalogs, like back in the day when you'd actually get those um, or online or in magazines. Yep, I wanna get that, I wanna get that. And then it was like, are you, no, our budget's not gonna let us do that. So I had to get creative and figure out different ways to get the same look for a lot less and it's totally doable. Mm -hmm. And I say to Matt now, if I won the lottery, I think we would still shop this way and I would still decorate this way because it adds so much charm and character and not everybody's gonna have the exact same thing. So, and everything in here has a story. Like, you know, a lot of these things, I can tell you exactly when I found it, if like the person selling it to me had a story behind it. Like one of these jugs, uh, we have a glass one. Um, downstairs and it is a moonshine, an actual moonshine um, jug uh, that they actually made moonshine in and they were cleaning out their dads or their grandpa. I mean, it was just the story. It was just one jug we were buying and it was a full story about it. So it's just, it's fun to get those stories along with what you're buying. Dubuque, yes. Well, I would love for you to message me what areas, what stores you found around Dubuque. That's somewhat close to us, and so we've gone there. My parents used to go there all the time. So I would love to hear the stores that you, um, you found there that were really good. Hi, Landon. It looks way better with antiques and thrifted. I, 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 I love that because things just aren't made the same anymore at all. They are just not made the same. And it's the thrill of the hunt, hands down, hands down. I can, I can hunt and not bring anything home and still have just as much fun. Cause it is, it is so much just hunting for different things is so much fun. And we aren't hunters like, <laughs> but we will definitely, yes. Give us a thrift store or like a flea market or a yard sale. We are good to go. I do too, Susie, things that have a story. I do too. Sometimes I'll be at, you know, I'll be thinking about something at an estate sale or at a yard sale. And you know, I've got it in my hand because you can't walk away from it, put it in your hand or your cart because you, you never know. Um, and then somebody will come by and say, um, 
like I had this denim apron one time. I didn't need another apron, but I thought it looked really cool. It was kind of worn. It was really thin. And I thought, well, maybe Matt could use this. And then the lady came by and said, my dad worked in this factory for this many years. And that was the apron he wore every day. And it, like she did. And so I bought the apron. So, um, yeah, that's, I think it was called stuff. And then a Goodwill next to it in the Dubuque area. Okay. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that. The stuff, or the stuff stores around us are not good at all. I never stop in there. Um, oh my gosh, I found an old green ice cream bucket for $9. The green part would have sold me. And you can use those for so many things. So many things. Especially if they don't have the inside parts to it. Um, great for Christmas trees. Great for, I won't do all that. I won't go through all that. Jewelry as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so many stories. I have so many stories. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Any anything else? I don't want to take up any more of your time. Um, but now this is fully done for fall. The weather will stop. Will start cooperating soon. Hopefully, um, I do wear a sweatshirt in the house because I get cold sometimes. But as soon as I go out, it's it's off because it's so hot. But okay, guys, I'm gonna hop off for now. And I will check back in with you later. Our furniture flipping course is still available at this low price right now. We will be raising the price when we do relaunch it. Um, so we wanted this initial, this initial launch to be super affordable for everybody. And you're going to get one full month inside the private um, monthly furniture flipping group that I started, which is within itself. It's There's so much knowledge in there. So as soon as you buy the course, you get into that group. So if you have any questions or don't know what I'm talking about, please message me and I will get you all the information. Uh, but I would love to see you in there. Furniture flip, like I, I've done this before. I've taken you guys around our house and every piece of furniture in here, except for like the two chairs and our couch in here, everything's thrifted and flipped. So, um, so yeah, I could talk for days and days about furniture flipping, but I just want to remind you about that course because we We've been working all summer on it. It's finally launched. It's still available at this low price. So I just want to mention it as much as I can. Sorry if it's annoying, but I just want to make sure it gets to everybody that can use it. So I love these sessions with you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for saying that. Those comments, um, when you guys share my, my posts or my reels or my lives, it just helps so much. It just helps so much. So thank you so much. Okay. He made it home before I got off. So I'm gonna go visit with him, see how his day went, and have, okay. I thought that was a question down here. Have a great rest of your afternoon, guys.